All right, y'all. Three out of three. It's my third hood vlog. Just so happened to be in the 83rds, right? The point I'm making is that I make it here first <laughs> before my people get here. So I gotta sit here. I don't know nobody up here. And you know what I'm saying? Luckily, I'm oh here go my guy. Y'all see it. We got a serious, we got a serious story to tell. We're gonna tell it in a minute. But uh we out here. You know what I'm saying? It's my nigga Ant, young Ant. And y'all do know, we put our life on the line for this shit here, man. Sure. You know, anything can happen. It is what it is, but it's all love. Most definitely, most definitely. Let's, let's go check out St. Andrews. <laughs> let's go check out St. Andrews. It's lit up. Uh, <laughs> hop out. Hop out. Hop out. <laughs> it's lit. It is. <laughs> it's lit already. I'm telling you. This is the homegirl G2 right there for sure. All right. Or everything. What's the. Oh, for real? Yeah, hell yeah. You what's care about being on camera? No, nah, hell no. What's up? Oh, we just filming? Oh, shit. Hell yeah. I'm right here. I'm about uh, get to the, uh, the kitchen right here. That's the homegirl. Oh, yeah. yeah. Money right there. Oh, yeah. Okay, well, look. We're going to get him a shout out too. What are you doing over there? we about to film. Oh, shit, about to do some Yeah, no, 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 we just filming some shit. Uh, what's happening, bro? We ain't getting to make sure you guys. Nah, we're just, bro. My daddy from there, he grew up right here. You know, this is this is spot right here. You got a, you got a man to the chicken right here. What's happening, man? You know, young ass, man. Young ass heifer y'all here, man. 600, man, you feel me? Everything, we all here, man. About to holler live in the gutter with it, man. You feel me? Right here, man. Straight at St. Andrews, man. Look, keep that shit for love. You know, I appreciate y'all. No, I appreciate it too, bro. Uh, yeah. You feel me? No staging, no capping. You feel me? None of that. You know, bullet. You feel me? It like live and direct. You feel me? Ain't nothing staged. Ain't nothing in acted out. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Natural. You feel me? Man, young and Hefe, man. You already know, man. St. Andrews Park, man. St. Andrews Park, it's a monument right here about community, man. You know, a lot of history, man, as far as just tripping and everything that go on before, like, niggas was choosing sides. Like, this was, like, one of the stomach grounds for the West Side Crips, Tookie and them. You know, he came up in my area on 69th. This was a meeting ground for them, you know, as well as Sportsman's Park. You know, Jesse Owens now, you feel me? So this is a monument right here, you feel me? This, um, the far western side of my hood, you know, my area, but all sides moving you feel me like it's for all of us you know headquarter for all of us you feel me like we don't really do the side tripping with each other that's like more like out of town you feel me like you know right here this home for all of us man you feel me grew up here play sports here you know what i'm saying way from um elementary man LaSalle elementary coming here on the van with rafer big side winder you feel me we started the set before i even knew who he was you feel me i just thought he was a uh, regular dude bringing me up here to the park man you feel me to um, play sports and do the after school activities man like for real. Yeah, what's up? What's up, man? What's up? The, the notorious young ant, man. Yeah, what's up, man? Yeah, what's the deal? What's happening, Pee Wee, man? Man, what's you know, man, I've been I've been rocking with you for a minute, my nigga. What's happening with yeah, it? I appreciate it, man. You know what I, I, I love. Hey, my nigga, my nigga G Wiz from Gear, man. He's you know what I'm saying? Ben was telling me to link up with you and shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. Y'all was behind the wall together, huh? Most definitely. Most definitely yeah. in that county, all that, bro, and everything. Yeah. Yeah. Been yeah. There with me for sure. yeah, man. Yeah. So, man, look, man. So, look, man. I, I want to, you know, you know. First of all, we we want to thank, you know, what I'm saying, thank you once again for the invite, letting us pull up. You know, what I'm saying, like yeah, some real yeah, niggas. Yeah, they don't want to see that, man. You know, that's why I'm gonna do it every time. The state don't like, it, but I'm gonna do. But keeping it all righteous and for because who because who to say is wrong. You feel me? But yeah, niggas don't be liking this type of bro. You feel me? Right. Right. So that's right. Doing it, all right. Hey, hey, be folk, be. Well, let the kids go by, man. You know, got the kids going through. Man, it's a recreation, man. You always got to show respect for the kids. Let, let, let. Before, before I. No, 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 you good. You got the A-Trade push it out there? No, yeah, for sure, for sure. You got the homies out there, like, man, deep in, like, all the little boroughs. I Like, if I ain't, if I ain't mistaken, they like it. All five rows, like all the homies out there, man. You know, you know, I don't really be getting into all that, but you know, I do, you know, linger with a few good man because it'd be like a lot of confusion and just like that's with. It's different. It ain't like home, you know. Back that way, a nigga be like he he, he could be from forty six. He's an A trade, but he banging under a nigga name. So let's say like nigga U P Wee, you from forties. Like them niggas out there gonna be like, oh yeah, nigga, we from forty crib nigga, but we under Pee Wee. 
and like niggas be playing that shit to their advantage as if they got a personal army and that's what i always preach to them out of town niggas like nigga you not under that nigga like he got a personal army you an instrument nigga of the set nigga like you know you an extension of our community right that nigga name you saying he's your right he's your righteous the passage that you tapped in with somebody and you just to start banging the set Right. He shouldn't be using you like when a nigga telling you some righteous shit. Oh, I gotta tap in with Pee Wee. Or I gotta tap in what's the name and see what he said about it. Like, nigga, huh? Like, nah, right. nigga, nigga telling you, bro, that's what it is, bro. You ain't gotta right. tap in with nobody. I'm telling you some righteous show. <laughs> it ain't no personal armies, nigga. Y'all, y'all from the gang. Hey, you know, hey, you know, it's crazy you say that, man, but you know how to go, man. You got, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but, and exactly because, not to cut you off, I experienced that too. So you got those who flock to me. Right. And with that, I give them the righteous answer. Ism, like, look, bro, I'm just nigga who you tapped into from the land. So when a nigga question you and be like, hey, nigga, you just depict this setup and start banging it. Look, nigga, I'm tapped in with Notorious. I'm tapped in with Young Gang. That's what I'm tapped in with. You feel me? But, nigga, y'all not under me as if, nigga, I got a personal army, nigga. Y'all from ETG, because, like, don't know one person, like, run this shit. Like, nigga, this shit a nigga. This shit a body, bro. This shit a government, bro. Like, right. All that, all, nigga, I run this. Like, be sounding like goofy and dumb, yeah. nigga. You feel me? Like, nigga, shit a body of government because, right. nigga, like, we all functioning, bro. Like, like it's like everybody's not going to be the same, bro. Like, right. everybody got a position to play. You yeah, feel me? That's right. how the machine come together, machine in motion, and how this shit works. And, right. Uh, I've been seeing that for years now, and I'm going to tell you, look, me just going through that, like, that's that's the demographic of everywhere over here in South Central, nigga, everybody got smoker big homies, this nigga might have been a reputable before he was a smoker, and like, he's been fucked up in his damn moment, I just got to experience that, my nigga, with my baby brother, bro, my little, my little brother, bro, NBA too, this is my baby brother, right, but same mama, same daddy, bro, cold line pressure, be on this out here, bro, you feel me, to where, like, he created a lot of hatred in our community amongst the homies because he pressed the line so cold. But right. On that, he pressing the line on whoever. But he got on that crystal real bad and was out here on some smoker shit. And a lot of niggas was loving that. It was like, oh, it's the downfall of NBA. That nigga a smoker. Whoa, he had the same niggas. Right. Niggas trying you. All type of shit going on. You feel me? To where I'm like, I had to like slow bro down. Like, man, look at this shit, bro. Like, you like like your fall from grace, bro. Like, you was out here pressing a righteous line, bro. A lot of niggas hate you. You were victimized a lot of niggas now. Look at you. Like, you being victimized. Little shit happening. And the niggas love to see this and then you implemented me in it because like a lot of shit don't happen being based on the respect the nigga got from a for a nigga like me but i gotta be mindful that it's other men out here it's niggas like me just out here that ain't nigga gonna bar none ain't going for no disrespect you right feel me? like regardless of what a nigga status is or what right. you doing or what you on you feel me right we're in the park it's an absolute no-no my nigga right here man we got history 15 years of history I'm gonna tell y'all a story how we met in a minute, but they got pull up bars. What park we at though? We at St. Andrews. Listen. Who park is this? State Trey Gangster Park, man. You know, man. You know, West Side Crip Park originally, you know, later on down the line. So, you know, so, so did Big Tookie and them all was at this park at one time? Man, you know, this is where they was at the stuff around, man. This park right here, for sure. A lot of history, you know. Hoods and turn Crips. This is like, this, this is like one of those spots motherfuckers coming to. Like, see, it's different now. You know, a nigga can just like pop up anywhere and be like oh yeah i'm from Wookie, Wookie, Crib, and just be accepted okay who you riding with you with the gangsters or you with the neighborhoods or this and that nigga back then nigga wasn't no just popping up nigga when you was talking about you was nigga about to be an independent set like nigga from what my understanding nigga from the g homies told me like nigga like nigga you was at the sign niggas was signing up on that dotted line like they probably got a paper somewhere with the original set so nigga wrote on that mother you feel me like that that was like you know father in like oh yeah okay boom they can do that you know what i'm saying so listen I've been wanting to come up and hit this pull-up bar since I heard about it. Now I got the pass. We about to touch it. I'm about to touch it. Yeah, we gonna do a few sets. I'm rusty, but I'm, I'm gonna get over there and pull a few sets for sure, for sure, man. I ain't no stranger to the pull-up. Oh yeah, we definitely got to touch this. They got the whole little setup for a nigga, man. I'm sore as a Nigga, and they told me to keep going. We might as well work out. I was trying to do a set for the camera. <laughs> I'm trying to look good for the camera. 
Eu tenho que salvar mais o outro que estou. Nah, for sure, man. Nigga politicking with them right now, trying to get a pool, man. Like on like everything. City? Man, like, yeah, man. Like, yeah, you, you got to holler at the mayor, you feel me? They pass it on, you know what I'm saying? So they pass it on, too. But the mayor, he can get that done themselves, you feel me? Karen Bass, you feel me? Like, every other park around here got a pool to set for us. Like, every other park we having pools for years. So we got to, like, as kids, we used to have to travel, like, to Jesse Owens, travel to, um... Harvard Park, depending on what side of the turf you stayed on. Like, man, for real, why we can't have one right here? So we our own community. Like, right here. <laughs> Every time. So, and I got a question, bro. So basically, like, like for us, for us keeping y'all community cool, for us your park and all that, you know what I'm saying? I see it's nice and clean over here. What, what type of, um, how do you participate, you know what I'm saying, you being a factor in your hood and who you are to keep, you know what I'm saying, safe for the kids and the community and all that stuff? All right, so, like, as far as that, bro, like, everybody, like, everybody have a position to play, like I was explaining earlier. So, that position, I'm not going to award that to myself. Like, on that position, my homie Gadget, that's who I just had came from when, when I was first talking when I had hit 600 earlier. My bro Gadget, you feel me? Like, you know, he um tied in, like, with the park, the recreation people. So, like, he tied in with the community. He the one to pass the jobs out, get the youth jobs try to, you know what I'm saying, recruit them to come up here to work at the park. Because, like, man, like, for real, like, a lot of our youth, man, they, like, they don't even be wanting to work. Like, they be, like, caught up in, like, in, like, the, um, bullshit perk, leans, little bullshit song. They don't, they don't have, like, no job expectations, you feel me? Like, no, like, no, no hustle. Like, they hustle lackluster, you feel me? Like, they watching rap videos and everybody want to try to make it off rap and everybody, for real, ain't got that talent. And, like, you be having, like, other ethnicity groups coming up here like in our community getting our jobs trying to come to the park and work because who else they gonna get a job to you feel me right. you know what i'm saying so like on that note that's my bro gadget but i do play a position in it too but like overall that's like that's his field of expertise you know that's what he do like as far like he really tied in right here like at the park and like work for the park you know what, I'm saying? what you think that this park need to be more, more fun for the kids to play and enjoy themselves and just a community as as a whole that this park would would would, would it'd be best be attributed to the park as far as like what you think y'all basically what do Man, you think look i know what you actually what i've been saying forever a pool like pool. we a uh, pool like we like man i've been saying that forever like we the only park right here in this radius and like you got you got harvard park down this way you got jesse owens right here you got manchester down that way all them parks got pools. We the only park that don't got no pool. And like when I was a kid, depending on what side of my hood you grew up in, you feel me? Like that's where you went swimming at. So like I used to go swimming at Jesse Owens and I used to go swimming at Harvard Park. But that's one thing that's needed. It shouldn't be no reason why we can't have a pool right here. The park big enough. We got space. You know what I'm saying? Let's go. Like we need that pool. <laughs> right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna holler at um remember yesterday we hollered at Mama um yep. Mama Soldier from my yep. PJs. She was tied in with the parts of Rex, so maybe I can link y'all together, man. Because she was saying, you know, she be fighting. She was like, man, whatever we want over here, we fight for. And, and as far as my hood, we got a park too. So I'm gonna tap in with her and holler at some of my big homies so I can see what they need or what we need, what we could use as far as and to help us. Cause like I say, man, I'm in, I'm I'm in, I'm in for the kids now, bro. Yeah, for us, I'm not here. That's why I say when they talk about that gang, I mean the gang intervention, I, I, that's all that cool, but all that. We want to tap into the youth, the babies, so they can stop them from trying to get put on and they like for But yeah, go yeah, ahead, yeah, six. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Man, let me tell y'all a story on how we even met. 2009, 2010, I think 2009, right? Anyway, I don't want to get into too many details, <laughs> but basically, I reached out to him for something that came up missing. And I was willing to make whatever needed to be right to come pull up. So I'm like, where you at? He said where he was at. Yeah, all right, I'm like, what? I'm like, hey, bro, I'm from 60s, nigga. You from, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm from HR Gage. He like, man. <laughs> so I'm like, listen, bro, I'm not even on that, though. But 
a nigga need to come get that. You feel me? So whatever it takes to whoop, whoop, whoop. We figured out a number on whatever was whoop, whoop, whoop. He like, pull up. <laughs> I'm like, man, this nigga on some bullshit. I, <laughs> I don't trust it. Y'all, my homies will tell you, y'all should see. I'm alive. Why? I don't even give a, I've never met this man. Well, I heard of him, but I never met him. So when he say pull up, I'm like, fuck it, I'm gonna pull up. I grab a little thing. I tell my partner in the car, I said, bro, you got me into some booty. This is a no, no. But dude seem like he's straight, but I'm gonna pull up. If anything go wrong, get cracking, <laughs> right? I pull up. Nigga, you take a long time. Yeah, I'm everything, yup. Yeah. This nigga pull up six cars deep. Bro, I'm really spooked now. But I'm here, I can't even leave. It's already too late. We hop out, that's how we meet. We holler. He basically, he give me a pass. Like, nah, nigga, it's good. In the midst of all the politics in the area, we from across the street from each other. I heard of him, but I never met him. So he give me a pass. Like, nah, pull up. We pull up, and we was cool ever since. So he gave me a pass to retrieve something, and he didn't have to give me no pass. That's why we straight to this day. No, for sure, for sure. You know what I'm saying? No, Nick could have been on Bush, but you know, you know, you know from now, you know that, like I said, you know, you meet solid individuals everywhere, bro, you feel me? And I just ain't no fake nigga, you feel me? Who a nigga don't with from that side, a nigga don't fuck with, niggas know it's going to be what it's going to be. But, you know, just him tapping in and pulling up and making the situation right, and I right. could have been on some bush, you feel yeah. me, on everything. A nigga respected that, you feel me? Like a nigga ain't no snake nigga, you feel me? So, right. you know, he made that situation right, you feel me? The nigga respected that, you know, we holler, you know, and then, you know, it's been good ever since, you feel me? Now, yeah. fast forward all 15, these years. 15, 16 years later, you feel me? My nigga he doing gave me thing. another pass. You know, he doing his thing, you feel me? Like, niggas, niggas, and niggas ain't gonna like this type of, you feel me? My nigga, like, niggas gonna catch like or whatever it's gonna be. It's a lot of history, you feel me? But, like, at some point, like, Niggas be having undercover relationships with niggas. They don't be putting it out there. Like at some point, right. like niggas got to change the narrative, bro. Like on some black shit, bro. Like that's what I be on, bro. Like, you know, our hood's at it right now. So like a lot of niggas, like it's some shit. Nigga just pay that on a clip that we just erased. You feel me? Like right. niggas ain't gonna like it. Like, like what this nigga doing here, you feel me? Like on everything at that point, my nigga, I wouldn't have liked it, bro. Somebody else is gonna do it. But like, nigga, I've been enlightened, bro. Like I'm a nigga, bro. Pelican Bay Cub, Fresh 18. Cut to Hatchet P Cut High Desert Cut. Just did 10 years in the feds cut. I've been around cut. I've been serving cut. My community cut a full uniform every time I'm out here cut. Like I, I I put it on the line, bro. Every time I'm out here, bro. Like on the set. You talking about big scrap? Oh, big scrap. Yeah, that's the home girl. She forget. She fuck baby and the shoot. Oh yeah, like no. Nah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like niggas be locked in, bro. You feel all type of shit, bro. Like niggas go on and on about this shit though. So I said a lot of niggas ain't gonna like it, bro. But I don't. I don't. I don't follow no fabs, bro. I don't follow. Amongst no shit I don't believe in, bro, because like niggas got their personal relationships, bro. Nigga, like niggas talk to niggas that ratted on niggas. Like it be rats over here, bro. Like my nigga, my slate clean, bro. I ain't never told on nobody. I ain't never did nothing foul, cuz. What was sold to me, what I brought in on on this H Ray Gangster show, that's how I carry it, cuz. With the niggas I came up under, that what they preached to me, cuz, on H Ray Gangster, that's how I carry it. I ain't never, I ain't did nothing foul. I ain't been DP, cuz I ain't did nothing, cuz. I ain't had no business doing, bro. But who's to say? that what i'm doing like having cuz over here is wrong bro like who who's to say that bro like on gangster bro who's to say that bro because like definitely if you not a nigga out here bro like and i like i like in respect cut to a nigga older homies cuz like on gangster nigga cut respect cuz nigga g homies and all that because on gangster bro like if a nigga not trying to cut fix what's going on car nigga ain't out here cut high nigga like gonna try to bring any slack to a nigga that's correcting a lot of shit that niggas not even paying attention to, bro, or that's gonna let go, bro, because niggas really don't care. They only care when it pertains to them. You feel me? Like everybody say, ain't nobody bigger than to the pro they ain't nobody bigger than the program until the spotlight is on them, and then they shine and they feel like they bigger than the program, bro, on everything. So I just ain't with none of that fake shit, bro. Like, and I and I'ma stand on mine, bro. Like whatever, who who like it, bro. I'm not following behind no fake, following behind no bullshit, bro. Like I'm I'ma follow what, what, what's behind what's righteous and what I feel righteous, bro. And like, I'm cripping, bro, like on the set. Like I'm in my community, like I'm really on some community revolution and progress. Uh, that's what I'm on, bro. Like for my community, bro. And like me keep on eliminating other black niggas and niggas from other hoods, bro. That ain't, that ain't helping my community, cause I'm gangster. Let me ask you something. How, how, long, how long you did in the Pelican Bay? Pelican Bay, like I went to Pelican Bay 06. I like, it was a short term up there. And like most of the time we was on lockdown. I was like two riots up there. You feel me? Like most of the time we was on lockdown. I got up there 06. 
and I went home 2009, bro. So it was like a little short stay. I was in YA. I had um. So you was first caught, time I yeah, met you. Yeah, I, I, I caught a charge in YA. I was on a YA number. I got down with a nigga. You feel me? They had the airlift him up out of there. And they gave me a um a dope charge. Like nigga sent me the Tracy DVI out there. And nigga shit my ass right to Pelican Bay, bro. Oh, so so A Trey Gangster, y'all like one of the one of the first original Crip sets, you know what I'm saying? Since the beginning though, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah, definitely, yeah. I mean, shit, you know, like West Side Crip, you know, shit, West Side Crip stumping grounds, basically. A Trey Gangster stumping grounds, you feel me? You know, took he grew up on 69, shit. That's that's the set, bro. Right. So, so, so 69, hold on, hold on. We wearing we wearing the 80. So how many yeah. how many sides of A Trays is it? Like shit, and we got north side, got back west, south side, you know, far west, and you know, older homies, you know, original west. I ain't really no young niggas, original west. That's really like the far west, you feel me? So you could say technically five sides, you feel me? All right, that's cool, that's smooth, that's smooth. All right, so like, so like far as your, your young homies, man, y'all got any artists over here? Y'all got niggas with heat? What's up with these rap nah, niggas, So sure. every nigga that's rapping, you feel me? I'm fucking around, I rap, my, you said my young nigga, my young homie, D3 the Gas, man, that nigga rapping, you know, he on tour with the homies and shit. Uh, you got Mad North, you feel me? You got um, my little nigga, Lil St. Andrews, you feel me? On everything, all them niggas, like, if y'all don't know, I mean, I'm pretty sure you in the city, you ain't heard, they should check them niggas out, like, you know, they got, got heat, all them niggas on it, you know, got good music, gas, and for sure, you feel me? Check my out, you feel me? I'm about to drop a mixtape soon, like, you definitely, you definitely got it over here, for sure. You got a lot of talent, bro. What's your name? You got Instagram? On oh, my IG, man, young, underscore, and, underscore, hefe, you know what I'm saying? Young and hefe. But, to the people, like, how many sides y'all got? Where y'all at? How big? I think, you know, I think geographically, y'all got the biggest set though. Like blocks, but we got our shit like so big, you got blocks, niggas don't even hang on to be on. Like we ain't, we don't like. No, see, my, 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 I'm saying, just as far as like the actual like. No, that's what I'm saying, like G, yeah, that. yeah, yeah, for sure, like the G. The biggest? Yeah, no, for sure, like niggas like from Gage, technically nigga from Gage to Century, nigga from Vermont to Van Nuys, in certain areas of the city, bro. So Gage, like sure. all the way to Century. Vermont all the way to Van Ness. Yeah, for sure. That's a big set. That's pretty good. That's great. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Most definitely. You know, that's five sides. You feel me? You got the north side, back west, south side, far west. You know, original west. I ain't really no young niggas. Original west. That's like older homie shit. Really far west. Them the young niggas are the original west. But like technically five sides. Hey, y'all got any athletes? You know, uh, celebrities like what? Hey, I ain't gonna even lie. You got, you got a gang of people from this area, right? And like off the back, like it's crazy off the back. I can't give you no names. I'm high as a motherfucker, right? I wish I had somebody to give y'all them names, but no, you got a gang of people like that's from this community, like you know what I'm saying, actors, you know what I'm saying, movie stars, you know what I'm saying, shit like that. My boy right now, he a comedian, my boy Stevie J, you know what I'm saying? grew up with me you feel me but i mean you got people that's older than me you know and i learn every day like so i'm just saying some shit on instagram the other day with a boxer promoter they were saying like that's like from over here from this area so you got a gang of people that's like from this area that's you know that 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 and grew up you know what i'm saying got their own life you know what i'm saying like and made it to the rich and famous for sure for sure so you you met you, you so you know you know uh monster cody definitely met monster I mean, yeah. Can, can I can I can I get can I get a monster Cody story, man? You know what I'm saying? I just want to get a monster Cody story, my nigga. Hey man, look, all right, man, look, 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 look. All right, so man, look, big monster, man. Like, man, look, I ain't gonna even lie, monster. Besides me growing up over here, I ain't gonna lie, monster really made me want to be from A Train. Like reading his book, I ain't gonna even lie. Like his book was everything to me. Like every time I went to jail. I used to have to have a ha used to have to have a copy of that man book, bro. Like I knew that book from front to back, bro. I could quote that shit like page to page. Like that, like that nigga book like inspired me like as a kid, bro. Like I don't know why, bro. As a kid, like the shit that was going on in that book inspired me, bro. And I already had lived over here, so it was just like once I joined, and then like I ain't gonna even lie, you know I'm joined, you know I'm out here in the streets, you feel me? I ain't gonna even lie, like his book. Like, had me, like, on Demon Time, wanted to do a lot of bullshit. Like, man, they got to get at these niggas. They got to do this and that. And then, like, bro, it was, like, you know, like an honor. Like, because, like, before I met him, like, he had reached out. You feel me? Like, man, you know, Mount Harry, you know, the young homie, you know, out here on the, doing this shit. You feel me? Woo-woo. So then, you know, when I finally met, bro, like, you feel me? Like, man, it was, it was an honor, you know? He used to give me heat to all that shit. You know, I remember he was standing on 98th and Normandy, you know? Man had a little situation pulled up. You know, man, gave me the 30-30. Bam! You know what I'm saying? I'm like, oh, you feel me? Anytime, like, whatever he had, like, young homie, come get it. You feel me? Last time I seen him, unfortunately, 
I, I'll never forget 2006. We was on 93rd and Butlong. Man, it was at nighttime, man. And we was chopping it up about some shit. He was on the run, man. And like, I, f I forgot what we was chopping it up about, but I, I never forget, man, like the conversation just drifted off and like an airplane, man. It's funny how all these airplanes coming by. An airplane that came by and that nigga looked up at the airplane, man, and he had said some crazy shit. He was like, man, you know, man, like, yeah, you know, I got a few tits, homies, man. You know, all the shit, I always wanted to blow it out the sky. So I'm like, what? I'm like, boom, so he say that. I'm like, I'm like, damn, I'm like, hey, damn, big homie. I'm like, man, you know, it's a lot of instant people on that motherfucker. You feel me? He's just like, man, you know, I always wanted to do that, man. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You feel me, man? That was the last time seeing Monster, man. You feel me? Like, through the years, like, when I was in the feds, I got a few letters back and forth with him and shit. that. Through that he was telling me when he had his new books coming out i was ordering them and shit like that and then you know when i just got i got the feds in 2021 man like right nigga like a few months down the line man shit, he passed man you know i got a um pass to go to his funeral from the um halfway house i was on in a halfway house bro out like four five months bro went to his funeral from the halfway house all that bro so yeah i definitely had a relationship with big monster you feel me like i said he inspired like a nigga to want to crip, bro, and be from Atrey Gangsters besides growing up over here, for sure. Bro. Yeah, old, these old cats, they be really like history books, bro. And then on top of that, sure. you know, He's he 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 got he has a lot of he's a charismatic motherfucker man like a funny but you know he real though yeah. but then I couldn't I couldn't we couldn't interview when I asked about Monster Cody though bro I uh, know I mean shit like we shit you ate like certain names bro like you know like, you got them certain names bro that's a household name bro like shit you like bro you speak A Trey you can speak that name you speak his name you can speak A Trey but that's a household name bro right G homie bro for sure for sure bro right much, much respect bro like like I said bro like you know I right, man. Much respect, bro. So, sure. so what's up? What's up? What's up with your? What's up with you and um rapping? No, make talking about you be flowing, man. What's going on? Now you can check my. I got the YouTube. I just did the corner store. I ain't gonna even lie. Go check my corner store out. Like if y'all niggas like rap, like hip hop. I'm not like a new rapper, nigga. Or nigga just trying to like rap. Like you know how you got these fab rappers and swag rappers, nigga, just coming out. Like if you like hip hop, nigga. If you like bars, metaphors, nigga. You fool me, nigga, like, nigga on the set, like, straight up, bro. Like, go check my corner store out, nigga. I got my, the hottest one, bro. Oh. But if I had, like, All the right. views and the followers that niggas had, like, I, right now, my, I got 30 some thousand views, but, like, bro. You're gonna be, yo, like, yo, man, I, I got the music, bro. My music gonna speak for itself. Yo, she gonna be, at, yo, she gonna be 100,000 at this, yeah, at this interview. Like, like nigga, tap <laughs> into my shit, bro. You can check out my page. You can check it out on YouTube at, at Corner Store, bro, like, and see for yourself. Bro. Right, like, right. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you see for yourself, bro, for sure. What's the cat from Broadway? I like that nigga. Be, what's his name? Rico? Yeah. G Perico. G you, 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 you know him? No, I don't know G Perico. I don't know G Perico. You like his music? Yeah, I, with some of his tracks. He, 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 got, he got his own style. Yeah, he got a cold he voice. A swag. He, he, got get, he, shit, he got some shit I definitely get in the zone, too, and I be in the car. Like, nigga, definitely get on. Like, put the G Perico on. I'm with the gangsters. Uh, uh, this and that, for sure. G Perico, go. For sure, go, for, for sure. sure. Tomorrow, too, bro, look. If y'all don't know, like, you know, the homie Fat Dog from Fado's Broadway, you know, so I was in the fast with cousin, another G homie, he passed away a few weeks ago. I didn't get to make it to his funeral for whatever reason. Like, it was like the communication, but I seen it on Instagram, but I I wish I would have made it because that was like a G homie. Like, What's his I, name? Say his name Fat again. Fat Dog from Fado's Broadway. That All was right. like a G homie I got the crib with up in that marker. Um, I bring cuz funeral up to say, though, I think tomorrow is 420. 420. So 420 at a park. In Compton, at a park in Compton, um, a laundry park, cause they got like a big ass crib meeting. Like that's open to like all the crips, cause cause you know like niggas gangs out here. Like niggas got ongoing wars, all type of shit going on right now. What's the deal? Yeah, niggas got ongoing wars and all type of shit going on out here right now. So, like at a laundry park, they just got the table open for crips to come up there. Like cause niggas want to throw shit on the table, want to holler about it. Like if a niggas can. Cease fire like cuz and lay some of the shit on the table that's going on and shit like that. You know, that's so it's so it's tomorrow. Tomorrow the laundry park. Well man, it's my bro childhood friend, man. It's gangster Trey, man. You know, I ain't gonna speak on his origins, you know. I can let let him tell you from his mouth, you feel me? But you know that's bro right there. Yeah, yeah, homie. You said shit around here. How is it growing up around here, man? <laughs> growing up around here, man. Shit, it just been shit. Yeah, you know, shit. so you done heard one story. It's the way you of life, life, man. Right. Shit, how I grew up. Shit, you know, as far as, you know, shit. It's like military units, how <laughs> niggas said. Grew up and shit. Man, shit. Uh, you know, lost a lot of people. Shit, you know, man. We was like one of the few and shit that kind of, you know. Like, yeah, and what he meant to elaborate on that, like, like, uh, like, I went to school with this nigga, like, elementary with this nigga, like, 
So like a lot of our childhood friends, nigga, they not they not around this motherfucker no more. And not all of them not dead, but a lot of them they they like in jail, niggas dead. Like man, you feel it's like a, a lot of shit going on, man. Like how Chicago is today, nigga, that's how South Central been like that. South Central set the president for that shit first before Chicago, Baltimore, and all these states was catching that. Look at them numbers, like in South Central, early 2000s, nigga, 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 the 70s, 80s, once once the shooting started broke out, like we was breaking them records, so like. We, like, we ain't lost a lot of niggas we went to school with, bro. Like, they got a lot of obituaries and niggas, like, put up, bro, for sure. You know what I'm saying? From them wars, bro. <laughs> yeah, that's give them up a PTSD, though, low key. No, for sure. I mean, if you in South Central, bro, like, everybody didn't experience it. Like, 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 like you know, we all pride from us from where we from, but who, we can't say, bro, nigga, we be doing like, everybody, everybody in loss, bro. Everybody in loss big, bro, for sure, bro. So, like, just like, you know what I'm saying, we got friends in the dirt, like, nigga, y'all got friends in the dirt, they got friends, and we all got loved ones, bro, like, childhood friends, niggas, just, that shit in the dirt and all that, bro, everything, bro. Yeah, man, you know, I appreciate you, Brody. Uh, it's nothing but love, homie, you know what I'm saying, and uh, I think this was a dope little interview. Yeah, no, for sure, for sure, it was definitely a good one, bro, on everything. Yeah, like yeah. I said, but with all good, you know what I'm saying, like, niggas want to see bad with all bad, niggas hate to see good, you feel me? Yeah. Hey, so once again, man, I appreciate you, man. What's your IG, man? What's the IG, young? Um, young, you know what I'm saying? Y O U N G underscore and underscore half Let me see. Make sure I got him on here so we can. Oh, that's your shit right there. Yeah, for sure, yeah. All right, man. Another one, man. We're going to see y'all soon, man. Uh, positive vibes, you know what I'm saying? Uh, it's my bro, number love. Oh, definitely. Sure. Y'all know we, we 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 really put our life on the line for coming out here. Anybody can come through, anything can happen. But we're gonna do what we gotta do to just, you know, show love. Show we out here, it's number love. I can't thank my bro enough. I'm here. See y'all soon, man. All right, man. Yeah, you know, man. We out of here, man. Y'all got half a though, man. We these neck of woods, man. Tap in, man. You already know. Know what's happening.